And you, uh, you met two of the other freshmen, uh, both Joe and Diane. I'm uh, fortunate that I get to sit next to Diane. And, and really what, uh, what the essence is that we're about, and again, you've heard that, I'm sure you're hearing that, it's about really saving America. It's getting America back on track. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, a lot of us are here because we felt America's broken. It's gotten away from uh, the values and principles that many of us grew up with and we know. I mean, one of the key principles, you can't spend more than you make. Uh, real simply, it, Think of 10, 6, and 4. 10, 6, and 4. $10 billion is what we spend every day. $6 billion is what we have coming in. And 4 is the gap. And so we're borrowing $4 billion a day. Uh, the question is, how long can you keep this up? And that's what's really coming to a point right now, uh, today, as you're here. Our debt limit's at $14.3 trillion. They've said that limit will be good until August 2nd. And we can't increase our borrowing without Congress voting to increase the borrowing. And so that's really part of the debate that we're having right now. And those of us that came out here to, again, get the country back on track, uh, pretty clear. Uh, first of all, we don't want to raise the debt limit. But if we do to get our country back on track, to get the spending capped, the spending reduced, and get a balanced budget, uh, we're supporting that. And so again, I think this uh, next 30 days is going to be, you know, well, it'll be one of the most interesting 30 days in America's history. Uh, Newt Gingrich spoke to our freshman class oh, about a month or so ago, and he said, the issues that are facing our country right now in Congress are as important as any time in our history back until the Civil War. And the Civil War, of course, was a period where our country was just really held in balance uh, with that war. And so what we have to do is we have to talk about it, we have to educate people, we have to communicate, and those people that we elect, we need to hold them accountable. So I can't thank you enough for being here and engaging in this. And again, uh, if there's anything uh, that we need, we need your support, your continued encouragement and help, because uh, these are tough decisions today, but they make tomorrow better off. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming out. Yep.